Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and welcome to the next chapter in our Lightroom training guide where we're going to get into color correction. Now, before we get started on this, uh, I did want to take a brief moment and just ask for everybody's help out there. You know, we're providing all these tutorials at no cost to all of you guys, and that's kind of the goal of SR Lounge is to really give back to the community. We want to create paid quality content, but be able to offer it for completely free uh, to all of you photographers out there. So to help us out, uh, we ask that you guys just kind of spread the word. Uh, Facebook about us, Twitter about us, whatever you guys can do, word of mouth, anything. The quicker that we can grow, the quicker we can kind of focus on pumping out more videos for you guys. All right, guys, so let's check out the Lightroom guide so far. So I'm going to pull up Chrome. I'm going to type in SR Lounge. And this is where you want to go just to kind of check out all the different guides. We have full table of contents, basically. Each one of the guides is basically a table of content for anything that you want to learn regarding these topics. Um, we have Lightroom, Shooting, SEO, Photoshop. We're going to be adding tons of articles over time, so just keep checking back. But you can check out the Lightrooms, and so far in the Lightroom guide, we have 93 videos that take you basically from introduction, setting up Lightroom, all the way through learning about the develop module. Now this means that pretty much any question you might have about Lightroom is probably going to be answered in these previous tutorials. So I'd highly recommend you guys go and visit these previous tutorials if you haven't uh, gone through them already. And uh, you know, just a quick story on the side note, a photographer friend of mine was talking to me today and he said, uh, hey Pi, you know I really like the Lightroom guides, but I find that some of the videos are really simple. Um, and, and don't you think they might be too simple? And for example, he said, well, today I watched the cropping video. And uh, he's like, and I, as soon as I started, I kind of just stopped it and moved on to the next thing. And he said, Who's, who doesn't know how to crop something in Lightroom? And I turned and asked him, well, okay, so tell me, do you know what the different crop overlay modes are or how to toggle them? Um, do you understand the level tool? Or do you know how to create custom crop ratios? And, and to all those questions, the answer was a resounding no. He didn't know any of those things. And I said, you know, even though that they're simple topics, you might know your way of doing them, and you might know how to do them based on your workflow, but there's a lot of great tools in Lightroom that we don't ever use because we never get outside of our comfort zone. So there's tons of great little golden tips and, and things that you probably don't know about Lightroom within the Lightroom guide. So I'd highly recommend that you guys go start to finish through it. Uh, even if you guys feel that you're really good with Lightroom already, I guarantee there's going to be a lot of things that you learn. All right, so that brings us to color correction. We are going to pull up our Lightroom catalog. It's right here on my desktop. We're going to be using the same catalog that we used in the last chapter. The only time we didn't use this catalog was when we were using, uh, when we were teaching you guys the library workflow. Um, for basically everything else, we're going to be using the same catalog we did before. So just pull up this catalog. If you guys don't have the exercise files, make sure you get them. From here on out, uh, we're going to be basically making a running changes to this catalog, and we're going to be saving our changes. We're going to keep everything organized. It's going to be our working catalog. Previously, basically, when we were showing you guys changes, we were just kind of doing random things with the photo. Now we're going to make changes, and we're going to refer to previous changes. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is every time we make edits, we're going to save them as different snapshots. And when we come to a shot, we're going to refer to uh, previous snapshots. So we're going to say, OK, start with the standard color corrected snapshot, and then we're going to build on top of that. So I'd highly recommend you guys download the exercise file from the article uh, and work along with these tutorials. All right, so let's get started. We're going to first clean up our catalog. I want to remove basically all the things that we did previously. So we're going to start by hitting uh, backslash to get in my filter menu. And then we're going to go to attribute. And now what I want to do is basically filter out all of my uh, virtual copies, and I want to delete them. I don't want to keep any more virtual copies. I want to get back to the original raw files. So, And, and if you look, if we go back so we can see all of our photographs, I'm going to turn off the uh, filters. We can manually try and find all these by just looking at the icons here and seeing, OK, well, which one is a virtual copy? That one looks like one. And manually highlight them and select them. That's going to be a pain in the butt, especially when your catalogs get larger. So the easy way to do that is just go into your library filter, uh, your actual filter bar at the top, and go to Attribute. And you're just going to move over to the right side where you see Kind. And you'll notice that this first icon is Master Photos, and the second one is going to be Virtual Copies. The third one is actually Movie Clips, so we don't need that. So we're going to click on Virtual Copies. And right now I have a, a rating filter selected. I don't want any rating filter selected, so I'm just going to click that to uh, undo it. And here we go. We have five virtual copies in our library, and I want to delete them all. So I'm just going to shift click on the last one so all of them are selected. You can also hit Control A to select all of them. Uh, I'm not going to be posting these uh, shortcuts again because they're in all of the previous tutorials. So I'll mention the shortcuts, but we're just going to keep going through uh, just at regular speed. So if you guys aren't familiar with them, just visit some of the previous tutorials, and it'll kind of go through all the shortcuts and help you guys get familiar with everything.
So I'm going to right click and hit delete photos. It's going to say remove the five selected virtual copies. Yes, remove them. All right, so now we're left with the 22 original master photos that we'd imported when we created the catalog. Now I want to be able to see all my photos again, so I'm going to turn off the filters by going to the filter menu, just hitting filters off. And then I'm going to toggle the filter bar by hitting backslash so we get rid of the filter menu. Now we're left with these master photos where we can see all the different edits and changes that we've made. What I want to do is reset all the settings because we're going to start with each one of these from scratch and we're going to actually work through them uh, throughout the next throughout these tutorials. So here's what we're going to do. This is the shortcut to do it. Uh, I'm going to go to my develop module. I'm going to hit control A to select everything and then I'm going to hit control shift R or I can go to my settings menu and I can hit reset all settings or control shift R right here. And this is going to reset all the develop settings for every single image. So if you check out on the film strip, every one of these changed back to the original photos. Now let's go back to the library grid view by hitting G and I'm going to deselect everything by hitting control D and what I want to do now is remove all of the keyword tags because we're going to be entering and uh, entering in new keyword tags for all of these so here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the top one on best just by left clicking, I'm going to shift and left click on the bottom and now I'm going to click the minus button at the top of the panel and it's going to ask delete all the selected keywords and I want to hit yes delete so now all of our keywords have been reset all right, so now let's go through and re-keyword these images based on what we're going to be using them for uh, in the upcoming tutorials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click backslash again to bring up my filters menu. And this is how I like to keyword things. Uh, I'm going to bring up metadata. And then on the left panel, I'm just going to select keyword. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select none. And what this is going to do is basically make it so that anytime I apply a keyword to an image, it's going to remove it from my current selection. So basically I don't have to sit there and kind of figure out what has a keyword and what doesn't. And I'll show you guys what that means basically. So for this first shot, I'm just going to call this one artistic. So I'm going to go up to my keywording panel and just type in here artistic. It automatically removes it and it places it under the artistic keyword. And since it has a keyword applied, it's no longer in the none category. Okay, so let's go through and do this for all of these. So I'm going to select this image and this image. These are going to be environmental portraits. I'm going to select this image, this image, and this image. These are going to be landscapes. This is going to be tungsten. This is going to be, again, the, the same artistic. I think this is going to be artistic as well. So I'm just going to select the keyword suggestion, artistic. Uh, we're going to do landscape for this. Environmental portrait. And we can, if we want, we can just kind of select all of them at once. I think this is kind of easier just to follow along, though. Uh, these are regular portraits, so I'm going to type in portraits. Uh, this is another environmental portrait. Let's see if there's any other environmental portraits. Nope. So this goes under environmental. Then we have these two are going to be flares. This image is a portrait. This image goes under, we're going to call this one editorial. This is another tungsten. And this is high ISO. Now there's a couple of these images that apply to multiple categories, so let's just go through and figure that out now. Um, I think there's another image. Yeah, this one I want to also be in the editorial uh, tutorials, so we're going to add that keyword onto it. Uh, same with this one. We're going to put that in editorial as well. And then right here, we're going to put this also, this shot was shot, I think, like at 5,000 ISO. So we're going to put this into the high ISO category as well. And I think everything else is pretty much where it should be. All right, guys, so we've prepared our catalog. Now let's go on to the first color correcting tutorial.